Yo, what is up fellow Apex enjoyers? Today I have a different kind of video for you. Um, I have a tutorial on how to use the highest quality stretch res option, which is not in uh, is not in the game. Um, but it definitely looks better than 1680 by 1050. Um, it is 1728 by 1080. And it is the stretch res which holds the most quality while still being a stretch res. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you a direct comparison of what normal and stretch res looks like just so you know what the difference is and uh, Why you should use a stretch resolution. So first of all We're going to go on to native which is 169 aspect ratio 1920 by 1080 and This is what it looks like in the practice range You know everything looks very normal as you'd expect and when I swap to a stretch resolution, the width of the screen becomes wider and the height stays the same. So basically what this means is the hitboxes appear to be bigger. As you can see, the dummy and these training boards are wider than the original and therefore it makes it a little bit easier to aim at your targets. So that would be a reason to use stretch resolution. But the ones in game, only go up to 1680 by 1050 if you're on a 1080p monitor. And this option looks a little bit blurry. Uh, if you watch the video at full quality on YouTube, you can probably tell that things are a little bit blurry. And I found that long distances away, it's kind of hard to tell where your enemies are. It's hard to tell if the pixels in the terrain are moving or if you're actually seeing a player running around. Um, this is the biggest downfall of using a stretch res because you have less pixels on the screen. So I'm going to show you how to use 1728 by 1080. So first of all, you want to close your Let's game and go to your desktop, right click and go to Nvidia control panel. And in this list of options, you want to go to display and then change resolution and then scroll down. Ignore the Ultra HD options. Just scroll down to where it says PC and see what your highest resolution is. Mine is 1080p. And you want to figure out what your highest refresh rate is as well, or whatever you use. Mine's 144, yours could be 60, 120, 144, 165, 240, and so on. So mine's 144, so we'll be using that. We want to go down to customize and create a custom resolution. I already have one here, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to create a new one. So come down to create custom resolution and then change your horizontal pixels to 1728. Leave vertical at 1080 and make sure your refresh rate matches the hertz of your monitor. All of this stuff is fine and then click test. If everything is fine, then you wanna click yes and then okay. So now you've created a custom resolution, you want to scroll to the top and click on your new resolution, hit apply. And now you would notice a difference in how your resolution looks, is definitely stretched. And now you want to launch Apex. Also, if you have any questions by the end of this video, make sure to stop by my Twitch, uh, link in the description or leave a comment in the YouTube comments. Now you want to hit escape and go to settings and video and then swap from 16.9 to 16.10 and you should have the option 17.28 by 10.80 or this might even be just set because it's now your native resolution or your change native. Uh, make sure you hit apply. And now you have the stretch res. Uh, but there's also a few other things that you might want to do because you might not want your desktop resolution to be stretched for when you're watching videos or just consuming any other content whatsoever. So as long as you've got your resolution set to this in game, you can now close your game. Let's go there. And then right click on your desktop, go to Nvidia control panel again. Now you want to scroll down to your actual native resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 and hit apply. And then everything should just be as it was before you did any of the steps that I've told you to do. And then launch Apex Legends again. Okay, so now that you're back in game, you should notice that your game resolution has stayed exactly the same. 
Uh, it won't say native here, but you'll keep the higher quality stretch resolution and your desktop resolution will be native. So this way you can enjoy other content without having to sacrifice having your monitor constantly at a stretch resolution. The only downside to this is that when you alt and tab out of your game, it takes like a few seconds opposed to being like half a second. But that is literally the only downside. And if you don't want to do that, when before you launch Apex, or if you launch Apex, you know, whenever, you can just change your resolution to the stretched again, and then it will act like it's native. Um, and that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you leave a like if it was helpful. And uh, if you want more of these types of videos as well, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, if you have any problems, also let me know and I'll try my best to figure it out and respond to you. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was uh, a insightful and helpful video. Thank you for watching. Peace.